Hi, this is Rose. I'm an Animate Direct expert and this is Bruno the Greyhound, our Animate office dog. So today I'm going to be talking to you about choosing the right dog for you and your family. Um, there are a lot of things to consider before taking on the responsibility of getting a dog. Um, the first thing you need to consider is what kind of dog you would like to have for you and your family. Um, some dogs are better suited for bigger families than others. For example, a Golden Retriever, a Labrador. These are great, fantastic breeds to have um, as, as a pet. Um, especially if you've got a big house and a big family, they're great companions. Um, if, however, you know you're, you're single or you live alone in an apartment, then maybe consider um, a smaller dog, um, just because you know smaller dogs do need actually smaller space. Um, there's a, a very serious concern with health as well. Um, before you take on breeds such as pugs, bulldogs, you know these what are called brachycephalic breeds. Just be very aware that they can have problems, um, especially in the summer months, because they can suffer a lot from heat stress and as a result have respiratory problems as well. Um, other things to consider as well is what kind of family and what kind of lifestyle you have. If you've got very young children or you're planning to have a baby, you need to take into consideration that some dogs may be better behaved with children than others. Um, if you've got, for example, allergies as well, or if any of your family members have allergies, take that into consideration. Um, another thing uh, is important is that you have to um, be ready for a dog to live up to 16, 17 years of age, even more so. So, so be aware of vet's bills getting more and more expensive and pet insurance and things like that before you embark on taking care of a dog. If you're a more mature person and would like to get a dog, as a vet I would probably recommend a terrier dog such as a Jack Russell Terrier, a Yorkshire Terrier or such as a Lhasa Up, so these lap dogs um, because they do tend to require a lot less exercise than a larger breed dog. Another thing to consider is the duration of exercise. Every dog is different and especially every breed is different. A bigger dog tends to require more exercise than a smaller dog would. Uh, for example, a Border Collie can easily go for a couple of hours every day. However, this will not be suitable for a smaller dog. Um, one very important thing is that the exercise will probably vary as a dog gets older. Um, they tend to suffer from arthritis when they get older. So be aware that the duration of the exercise can get less um, to put less pressure on the joints. If you notice that your dog is getting arthritic, consult with a veterinary surgeon first, but Animate Direct do great products called U-Move from Lint Bells, um, which help support arthritis and joints. If you'd like more information on these products, then please visit our website on www.animedirect.co.uk or alternatively call our helpline. If you like this video and want to know more, please subscribe to our channel below.